Good evening, I'm Mike Duffy. Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with new developments in that animal cruelty case out of San Joaquin County. It started with a call to a home in Lathrop. Neighbors noticed puppies loose. Officers found a lot more. They found a total of 12 puppies in the home and 18 more at other locations. Pedro Victoria was charged with one felony count of animal cruelty and one misdemeanor count of practicing veterinary medicine without a license, as well as other charges. Tonight, we're learning more about how the operation allegedly worked. ABC 10's Lena Howland has the latest. These animals are, are innocent victims. Uh, people think, oh, it's just a dog, but that's what you need to look at. It, it, it is a dog, um, and they have uh, all the rights, too. Aside from an open wound on her shoulder, this French bulldog is one of 30 dogs that made it out alive from what police are calling an illegal vet operation and puppy mill. What we want to get across here is that this was a puppy mill. It is uh, nothing but that. It was a uh, uh, operations that were being performed. Dogs were being put into heat shortly after those operations not being completely healed. Officials say all of these dogs are being treated as evidence and they're not available for adoption right now or anytime soon as most are still undergoing extensive medical treatment. The actual vets we have spoken to say that these uh, operations were done so poorly that the incisions for the C-section that were completed on these uh, dogs uh, were never truly healed. The suspect, Pedro Maldonado Victorio, is in custody right now, facing multiple felony charges, including animal cruelty. People in the area told us they would see cars come and go from the suspect's home at all hours, the same location where 18 dogs were rescued. Twelve others were rescued from this home in Lathrop, where the illegal vet operations were being performed. Three other dead dogs were found and other parts in the recycling bin. A third location in Manteca was being used as a storefront filled with kennels. Although no dogs were found here by authorities, neighbors said dogs were here all the time. The one we saw the most was French Bulldogs. And the gymnastics gym next door said they had no idea this was happening. Maybe we should just check who our neighbors are, or like go around and introduce ourselves and say like, hey, um, this is our business. We're here every day. Like, who are you guys? Let's get to know each other. Like, we're all a community. Um, but yeah, like I never thought about ever checking on somebody for something like that. There are a lot of ways that you can make sure that the vet that you pick is legitimate. You can ask your local animal shelter for recommendations. Sites like Yelp and the Better Business Bureau can also help, and you can verify your vet's license with the Veterinary Medical Board. They have to renew it every two years.